Hello students, this is Suman Sarma from SVM Sinehi. This is the second video of science of class 6. The topic is food, where does it come from, part 2. In the first video, we saw about food, variety of food, ingredients and sources of food. In this video, we will study about the different parts of the plant that we eat. Here, as you can see, there is a plant. And there are six different parts of the plant that we eat. We eat seeds of some plant. We eat stems of some plant. We eat fruits, roots, leaves and flowers of different different plants. Now, in the next slide, we study about edibles. To define it, the simple statement is that the substance which we can eat or the eatable parts of the plant is called edible. In the figure 1.4, different edible parts of plant is given. In the figure, the flower, fruit, stem, leaf, all are collectively known as shoot system. And there are roots, that is primary roots as well as secondary roots. Both of these collectively known as root system. So that we use it, we use shoot system and root system as the edible part of the plant. Now, in the next slide, there are different different parts of the plant that we eat. Here are some examples. As a flower, we eat cauliflower or broccoli. As a fruit, we eat cherry, apple, mango. You can also put some different types of fruit. As a leaf, we eat spinach, coriander, methi. As a stem, we eat sugarcane, bamboo soup and spring onion. As a seed, we eat bean, kidney bean, gram and peas. As a root, we eat beetroot, radish, carrot and turnip. You can give more and more example of each kind. Now, in the next slide, the topic is sprouted seeds. Students, when white structure grown out of a seed is called sprouted seed. Now, we have to understand how to prepare the sprouted seed. For it, there are some steps. In the first step, we have to take some dry seeds of moong or chana as you can see in the image. In the second step, we have to put that seeds of moong or chana in a container and fill it with water and leave aside for a day. In the third stage, we have to drain out the water completely and leave the seeds in the vessel for a day. Now, in the fourth stage, we have to wrap that seeds with a wet cloth and set aside. Now, in the next stage, we will see that the white structure has grown out it. This white structured seeds is called sprouted seeds as you can see in the image. This white structure is known as the sprouted seeds. These are sprouted seeds so we can eat them as it is or boil or eat or boil and they are very healthy for heart. Now in the next slide we have to study about nectar. Nectar is simply defined as the sweet juice of a flower. Nectar is collected by honeybees. Honeybees collect the sweet juice of flowers and collect it in its hive. It is not available throughout the year, so honeybees collect it in the huge amount so that they can use it throughout the year. Now, as we know that different animals eat different kinds of food, so on their food habits, all the animals are classified into three categories. First is herbivores. Second 
is carnivores and third is omnivores. In the first category, herbivores, the animals which eat plant or plant products are called herbivores. For example, as you can see in the image, zebra, elephant, rabbit, cow, giraffe. You can also give some more example of herbivores animals. All are eat only the plant or the plant product. Now the next category is carnivores. Carnivores are those animals which eat other animals are called carnivores. Here lion, tiger, crocodile, chameleon and snake are some example of carnivores. In the next slide, the third category is omnivores. Animals who eat both plant and animal products are called omnivores. For example, hen eats grass as well as some insect. Pig eats plant products as well as insects. And the best example is human beings. Human beings eat plant products as well as animal products and meat. So all are considered in the category of only what? So students, in this two video, your first chapter food, where does it come from, is completed. In the third part of the PowerPoint presentation, I have given exercise question answer. You have to read and write that carefully. Thank you.